A Helltide Commander? Hmm. What the f*** did just happen? Helltide areas are the most fun and efficient gameplay experience to get your missing aspects and to target farm certain uniques. Plus, they have two secrets that you need to know. And the best part is you can even plan for these. They're one hour long and then there's a break of one hour and 15 minutes until the next one. And then they're an hour long again. There's a reason why the break is one hour and 15 minutes. We'll come to that later. What is the goals in Helltide areas and how are you most efficient gonna write them down? Let's go. Helltide areas are available from Nightmare on. So as soon as you hit level 50, get the capstone dungeon done, you can start doing hell tides and i highly recommend you to do so it's especially the best activities for people also that at level 60 freshly hit torment 4 to then on 60 start farming down the hell tides as well as you're in a hell tide area there will be chest display tortured gift of weaponry tortured gift of jewelry and tortured gift of protection these are not the ones you're actually looking for these are the obviously glaring ones how do you unlock these chests? Well, you pick up the aberrant cinders, cinders, aberrant cinders. I don't even know how to pronounce them correctly. So you kill monsters, you pick up these cinders, you need 75 for the protection, for the jewelry, heavy weaponry, light weaponry needs 125 and 150. But again, these are not the chests you're looking for. There is one chest per area in an Helltide that is hidden. It's called the chest of mysteries and it needs you, and I'm dying, rude i'm making a youtube video and it needs 175 cinders to unlock it is not visible though it's it's hidden but there's a website called a d4planner.io and i use that for my altars of lilith waypoints all these shenanigans to display dungeons and other stuff very interesting though is it actually shows the active chests of mysteries the chest of mystery has four spawn spots and here now with the green marker marked this is the position of the chest of mystery. It is supposed to be in the top left corner here, right on this position. And we're gonna take our horse and just move over there. And as we're here, you can see there's no chest of mysteries, but as you get closer, it pops up. And that's the thing with the chest of mysteries, the tortured gift of mysteries. You gotta get close to it to actually see it on your map. So the map was correct. But how do you get your 175 cinders now efficiently? And the best way is actually to do these events. And as you can see here in the map, you can actually display the events as well. So right now in this Helltide area, I would either be down here and go for this, this, and that event, and just ping pong between these three while killing everything in Elite Pack on the way. Or I would be up here, 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 and here, and just ride between these four. It's a bit annoying because of the Sarkova Pass waypoint in the middle. So you could also do just these three, and then kill just every single mob in between. Bouncing between these events is highly efficient because it's also boosting your obolts. Since one single Helltide area easily gives you max obolts, yesterday I played for eight hours, well, I'm a content creator, but I did three Helltide areas in that span and I essentially three times maxed out my obolts to a thousand and three times completely rolled them down for bonus aspects I even get a new legs and I almost got a new helmet but it wasn't perfect but I got a new ring with minion life on it so my minions survive even more now there's another trick to the chest of mysteries that you're actually not being told in any Cool tip. But there's a reason why a Helltide is every 1 minute and 15. And the good thing is also D4 Planner in the top left here has a timer for you that shows you when Legion events are, world bosses, and when the Helltide ends, but also when the next Helltide starts. And the most important Helltides you're looking for are the ones that start 15 minutes past the hour. And that has a simple reason, since if a Helltide starts not on the full hour, if it starts 15 minutes past, the Chest of Mysteries resets at the full hour so you have 45 minutes let's say it starts at 10 15. you have 45 minutes to get the two chests and then as it hits 11 o'clock the both chests will reset position d4 planner will give you the new position and you can open them again so potentially in this hell tide you can get four chests of mysteries and they have six seven ancestral items in them it's absolutely insane and that's not all there is Helltide areas that actually have three zones instead of two zones. So potentially you could get six chests of mysteries there, just boosting your equipment up like there is no tomorrow. 
But as I said, Helltites are also good for target farming off certain things. If you're looking to get a new pair of legs, or you're looking for a certain leg aspect, for example, you can use your obols, obviously, but you can also go for the chest of protection. And the chest of protection can be leg gods, chests, helmets. If you're looking for a certain unique as well, you want to have temerity, well, then always open the leg guards one. And the good thing about these is they're at least visible on the map. So you know this is protection, jewelry, protection, jewelry, weaponry. Open these, go to the other Helltide area, and open these again. Now, would you do Helltide areas for XP farming? Realistically, there are better activities to farm XP. That being said, Helltide areas are just fun. You go back to regions that you might have abandoned and never been in in a while since you've gone through in the campaign, and you actually meet other players. Yes, it does feel like an MMO. They're going to be there. They're going to be running around. And you're actually going to be able to interact with them as well. Because they want to help you. You want to help them. You get bonus XP as they're close to you. It feels like a social fun community activity. At the end of the day, we're not playing this game to be as efficient as possible. We're playing this game also to enjoy ourselves. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly. But that's not everything. There's one more thing Helltide Areas can do for you. And I almost forgot mentioning that. I'm sorry. There's also materials you can gain. And these are extremely important because they're going to steal all your money from you. The first kind is called Fiend Roses. And the second one is Forgotten Souls. They're used to reroll stats on items. And, well, it might only cost one of them each to reroll. And by the way, on rare items, it's only Forgotten Souls and not Fiend Roses. But still, you're going to burn through them like crazy. But they're not only for rerolling affixes. You also need them for the final weapon upgrade. And yes, did I just click five times on this just to show you what it costs? Yes. You would need six Forgotten Souls to actually bring this up to the fifth upgrade. And now I'm just going to be selling that one and wasting my resources. Same goes for Jewelry and Rings. They need that as well. And there's two activities you really want to do for materials. Again, Chest of Mysteries yields a lot of them. And the normal chest can drop them as well but there's one opponent you'll randomly meet throughout the helltide area that actually has a lot in his butt and he might be the most annoying thing to kill but that's the helltide assassin he kind of roams around the map and has a buttload of hp but a lot of players are always going to be ganking up on him because he does drop these materials and you will want to stock up on them because the worst thing that can happen is that you're in an upgrade spree you're replacing all your equipment you're having your alts that want to be boosted as well and you kind of run out of them stinker now go out there farm your hell tides get your materials and uniques and tell me in the comments below what is the craziest thing you have dropped so far from an hell tide zone if you're also interested in the ultimate necromancer guide that takes you from level 1 to 100 i get that video that covers every single aspect Thanks for supporting my content here with Diablo so far. I'm new to the ARPG community and I appreciate all of you being here.